It's called the toughest sport on dirt. What compels a man to get on top of one ton of mean? These are the men who will risk it all, riding eight seconds to glory. Bull riders. You gotta wanna be the best. The rock stars of rodeo. Wild ass bulls. One grueling season. Ah! I hate that bull. Two competing trucks. They've got us looking over our shoulders a little bit. In pursuit of the greatest prize. I'm not quitting no matter what. This <laughs> is hell on hooves. It's the equivalent of water cooler talk, hashing out the good and the bad of certain rodeos. But for these bull riders, earning your living on the rodeo circuit is a business. It requires planning, organization, and a certain amount of analysis. That's probably a pretty good buy because you'll be 88 on that bull. In the Thompson truck, the cowboy in charge of business affairs is Max Fortmuller. Now, he's a bull rider with a degree in both business administration and agriculture. Doing a bunch of investment management research two days a week. Nothing serious yet, but just kind of getting my feet wet and I guess trying to put my education to some use, I guess. I own 50 head of cows and do some ranching and stuff on the sidelines too, so I'm never bored. <laughs> As the group's coordinator, Max is also in charge of all the scheduling. It's a lot of things that, that happen already really that people don't see. Um, like everything that's behind it, just for example, entering. Max, Max is kind of, he's kind of like our mom, I guess. He just, he, uh, he drives most of the time. He enters us everywhere, he makes sure, he just kind of makes sure everybody gets where they're supposed to be. <laughs> we try and go to three different associations. So we go to PBR, Bull Ridings, uh, Canadian Professional Rodeo Association, and then the PRCA. So they all have their own form of entries, an entry system, an own entry line, and then entry dates. You have Virginia Slim. Panky has Pop Top. So from there, you go on the computer and look at MapQuest and mile it out and see if you it's even logical. Panky's got Big Jam. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. You're in over your head. <laughs> I guess I just kind of evolved into it. Tyler used to do it before I did it, and then I just kind of took the reins over and ended up being, I don't want to say better, but I guess more organized. I don't know. Chad's got smoke from Pancake, and I got Kid Deadly. Fucking bastard. Kid Deadly. Yeah. Aren't you supposed to be looking at the road? <laughs> For these cowboys, earning money on the rodeo circuit not only pays the bills, it also determines the rank of each competitor. See, in the fall, the fellers with the most money will qualify for the end of season yeah, finals. Happy. And so, for the next few months, well, it's an ongoing wrestling match to see who can stay on top. <laughs> for the rest of the summer, yeah, it's pretty much gonna be a fight to the finish. I won. Tyler Thompson and his travel partners have come to Wanham, Alberta for a professional bull riders event. The winner will earn about $3,000. But the big talk of this event is the bonus round. $20,000 to make the eight on one of the toughest bulls on record. His name, Slash. Bucking Bull Canada. Probably the rankest one going right now. I hate that bull. He's the epitome of bucking bulls. If there was a cocky bucking bull out there, that'd be him. He drives me crazy. 
I've been on them four times and yet to make the whistle. But it didn't last very long. I don't think he'll get rode unless he's got somebody in this truck. <laughs> 